Hey guys, welcome back to Johnny Reads. Today I'm going to bring to you uh, my first ever book haul because I think in July I purchased more books than I have in any month ever. So I figured I might as well do a book haul video even though I've already talked about these books on my blog a little bit but I didn't really get into too much detail about any of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. First we have The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. This one I... Only reason I got it was because I don't generally recommend books to, to anybody and I recommended one to, the, to another blogger and so I told her that she could recommend one to me and this is what she recommended. So now we're racing to see who can finish each other's book first to see if we do it again. And so I honestly don't know anything about this book even though it's a classic and I, I everybody's heard the name and it's high school reading I'm sure. but. Yeah, it's going to be the first time I read it. second is Dracula by Bram Stoker. This one I'll probably actually never read this copy um, because I don't reread books. But Dracula is one of my favorite books ever. And I didn't have my own copy, so I went to get it. I got this at Half Price Books for only $2.99. So, and it's in, I mean, it is in great condition. So I went ahead and got it. And it's just, it's just one of those books that I had to have. Even though I've read it, it was assigned to me in high school and it was assigned to me in college. Third is Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. This book, only reason I got it is because it's on the uh, Amazon list. So which means there will be a video about it at some point. But other than that, I don't know anything about it. Number four is Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. This one, I'm not sure, but I think it's a crime novel. I don't know where I'm getting that impression from or if I've read that somewhere or what. But again, the only reason I got this one is because it's on the Amazon list, and which means there will be a video forthcoming. This is Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Um, this is actually the book I'm reading now, so I won't say anything about it, because there will be a video about it, and it is also on the Amazon list. But it's just another classic that I haven't read before. <laughs> Next is L.A. Requiem by Robert Crace. I'm not even sure if it's Crace or Crass or... I don't know. He's one of my favorite authors. This is the... Eighth book in the Elvis Cole series, and he's just one of my favorite detectives. So I've actually wanted to get this book for probably about a year now, but since in 2014 I didn't read much, and in 2015 I've been slacking still, even with the channel. I haven't been buying too many books, but now I finally got my hands on this one, and I'm greatly looking forward to reading. It. Next is going to be The Strain by Guillermo del Toro. Del Toro. And Chuck Hogan. This is going to be only the second book I ever read that involves vampires. Um, and the reason I got it was because there's a show on, there's a TV show on FX that is, I mean, it is great. I mean, it is great. And it's about, it's about, it's based on this series. And there are three books in the series. This is the first one. And the show is already in season two. So I decided to get the first book, see if, uh, see how they relate, I guess. But no, that, that show is great. I love it. And the vampires are not your typical vampires. So if you're into that sort of thing and you're not in, you're into like the Dracula sort of vampire, not necessarily the Twilight sort of vampire, then I think this book and this book series and the TV show is probably for you. Next is Mary Mary by James Patterson. It's the 11th book in the Axe Cross series. Axe Cross is one of my favorite characters, another detective. And it's James Patterson. That's his. It's his flagship series. Looking forward to reading it. And the rest of the books I have. I'm not going to talk about each one because let me show you. Ah! Look! Look what I got. I got, no, the third to the seventh Harry Potter books. And this was freaking a steal. I got all these for $25. I had to get them, even though I only read the first two. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, no, I got these. And I honestly probably wouldn't have even gotten the hardcovers. These I had to get, so I got them. And so that is all the books I have for you. I don't know what the count is. I think it's 12, but I'll be counting down. I'll be counting the video, and I'll, I'll tell you um, as I talk about each one if they're new or used or what. And so that is all I have for you. Today. Next week, I should be talking about Fahrenheit 451, like I told you. Oh, and in the comments or whatever, if you're coming from WordPress, even though you probably already talked to me about them, Tell me what books you guys enjoy. So, because why not? 